What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here, and we've covered many different AI tools on this channel, AI coding tools, AI chat tools, offline tools, local tools, and I know a lot of you guys really enjoy your local AI tool usage. You like having the ability to potentially use your AI offline, which is great. I completely get that. And in today's video, that is why we are covering a tool that has actually been around for quite a while now but i haven't talked about it on this channel it is called chatbox ai your ultimate ai co-pilot on any device we're going to dive into it show you how you can get started with this it is open source free to use so let's dive right into it All right, guys, so Chatbox AI right here. I'll leave all the links down below to the GitHub repo as well as the website. So here is the community edition. We'll cover some of this in just a second. But before we do, we'll just take a look on their website. So to get started, you can really actually just go here and download it right here for Windows. Um, they have a web app as well. And then they have iOS, Android, APK, uh, more options as well. So you can check this out. We got Mac linux so they got pretty much every option under the sun that you can think of over 500,000 plus happy users apparently um so chat with documents and images so pdf doc ppt etc etc so code magic so generate and preview code so this is actually really cool that they have this so code smarter not harder ai power coding assistant that turns ideas into reality uh, code generation artifact preview syntax highlighting code review refactoring smart docs debug assistant optimization security checks i really like this feature this is awesome that they have this in an open source tool like this and then visualized insights with ai generated charts this actually caught my attention too like these cool charts these beautiful charts all right so ai powered image creation so unleash boundless creativity effortless text to image magic explore infinite artistic styles so we can see here can generate images and then latex and markdown renderings all right so for academic writing math equations academic discourse privacy design so this is great obviously if you're using things locally you want your data secured so stores all your data locally from conversation histories to personal settings everything stays on your device with your control got some testimonials here to over 21,000 stars on github now they do have a paid version too so you can see here chat box ai light ai pro uh, and then pro plus and this includes like their own models and i think this is also to to do with the web version side of things we're not going to dive into that we're going to be just doing the free versions so to get started with this if we go over to github here we can see that one we have the different download links right here so all the different download links are shown we can see all the different features here most of these are things that we just covered here streaming replay team collaboration cross-platform availability all that good stuff multi-language uh, support and you can build it right here using these instructions but we're just going to keep it simple download it so once you download it you can go ahead and actually open chat box and this is what chat box looks like okay well first off out of box you won't have dark mode enabled so i'm going to show you how you can do that as well as some of the other features so we go to settings here you can see we got our models right here so you can select your different model providers so you can see here there's chat box ai early access um we're not going to use that but there's open ai api azure claude google gemini olama grok chat glm uh, add custom provider which is nice too so you can add olama use any uh, open model you want basically and that's really nice that they have that here we're just using open ai so we put our api key here you can have the api host right here you can go uh, to model and token and you can see the different models here we can see the temperature top p max message count and context so you can go ahead and see all the different ones let's see we don't currently see o1 oh yeah because o1's not an api yet speaking of which guys um yes i'm going to be doing some videos on o1 as well as opening eyes uh 12 days of ai right so stay tuned for that um and anyways so let's go ahead and go to display here here you can select your language your font size theme of course you're gonna go with dark mode 
Uh, and then these, some of these weren't toggled on. They won't be toggled on for you, but I just toggled them on. These are show message, word count, token count, token usage, model name, message timestamp, auto collapse, code block. So some of these would be turned on, some of them won't. I just turn them all on because I find that this, these are nice. I like when you can actually see the word count or the token count or the usage count. That's always really nice to me. And then chat so end user avatar default assistant avatar you can change that you can change your default prompt for new conversations defaults to reset so you can um change turn some of these on or off you could toggle the all these were tur turned on by default except for auto preview artifacts so this automatically renders generated artifacts html with css js tailwind so this is like kind of what we were talking about you could turn this on or you can just run this manually if you're generating code and then advanced, so we have like network proxy, keyword shortcuts right here, data backup and restore right here, so you can do all that, error reporting, and then launch at start uh, if you want that. I'm not going to turn that on. Okay, so those are the settings. And next we have my co-pilots right here. We'll dive into that real quick. Um, and then new images. So this is just if you're generating an image right here, it's going to go right here and you can ask it to generate an image we'll come back to that and test that out and then new uh, chat is right here okay and you'll see your chats over on the left hand side just like you would with like chat gpt or claude whatever the case may be but let's go ahead to my co-pilots this is basically like um agent or assistance in you know gpts custom gpts in chat gpt or agents whatever the case is so you can basically go new co-pilot you can give it a name you can give it a custom prompt you can give it a avatar URL if you want. That's not too important, but, uh, and then you could toggle on to share with chat box or not. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you'll see the good thing is that they actually have some pretty cool and useful um, co-pilots already created. So we have things like ChartWiz, Artifact Preview, Full Stack Software Developer, Dream Interpreter, Social Media Manager, uh, or Social Media uh, Influencer, Reg Expert, um, and then translator, mid journey, prompt generator, you know, a bunch of different ones as you can see here. And you could go to a full stack software generator. And like, for example, if we go to full stack software generator, you can actually expand and see what the prompt is. So this one's actually very simple. Um, uh, but if we go to something like ChartWiz right here, <clears throat> you can see here this prompt is a little bit more in depth. You are an AI assistant uh, skilled in mermaid di diagrams to explain concepts and answer questions. When responding to the user queries, please follow these guidelines. Boom, 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 boom. So you, I just asked it, hey, a diagram demo to showcase the use case. And here we have a specific use case scenario, online shopping system, actors, use case, and then explanation of the diagram right here. All right, now I said, please make a graph with data to show this, okay? So um, to represent data in a graph or bar, bar chart or pie chart, blah, 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 blah. So we can see the scenario, distribution of user activities, browsing products, adding to cart, checking out, viewing orders managing inventory and then we can see this nice beautiful chart that it generated right here so if we click here we can copy it to clipboard um, you could save it of course you could do whatever you want with this right but pretty cool and it's very quick uh, it gives you an explanation there and we can see here our word count our token count our tokens used model and then the timestamp i like that it has the word count and the token count word count i actually don't see too often i see token count in some and some other tools but word count's kind of cool actually because it's nice to know in my opinion here we could go ahead quote things delete the message copy the message edit the message reply again over here we have a uh, refresh context start a new thread attach image select file so pdf docs P uh, whatever you want and then you could attach a link to which is really nice that you can do this um, and then customize settings for current conversation. So you can go here, customize these settings right here, which is right now chart whiz. So we're not going to do anything, but you could change the different model, do whatever you want. So it has a lot of customization here. We have our different models down here. So you could go ahead, switch this to O1 preview if you need that for some reason or whatever the case may be. Up here, we can see our thread history right here. Here we can just toggle if there's more of a wide view or a uh, close view right here uh, you could export chat clear all messages delete current session 
All right, now let's text out the image creator. I'm just going to say beautiful flower on a mountain with snow and a polar bear drinking a beer. Oops, I spelled beer wrong. I said a polar bear drinking a bear. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we get here. So it's generating three different images using OpenAI's DALI 3 model. As you can see here, pretty good. It knew that we were talking about a beer right here. So obviously this is through DALI, but it's nice that you can actually access all this right here. Pretty real, you know, pretty good. Now you could go ahead, click on more images here or reply again. Now, if we go to full stop developer, for example, and I say... All right, so now I'm going to say generate me a beautiful landing page for a website with HTML, CSS, and JS for a beauty store, uh, e-com store, and make it look very impressive. And I'm going to go ahead and click send. Okay, so now we can see it's generating the HTML right here. It's generating the CSS right here. And it's generating the JavaScript, okay? It gave us some notes here. And as you can see here, we have this preview button right here. So preview, expand, and then to the right. So we can actually preview this right in our chat. So this is really cool. This is something that I really like that it has this. As you can see, this isn't the greatest looking thing. This was our first prompt, but I could go ahead and iterate upon this and actually preview it right in here. Um, so that's actually very useful, especially to have this in like an offline app. I think that's pretty cool that they have this feature. So. Um, yeah, it's basically like Claude Artifacts in a way, um, right here. So you could go ahead, reload it, make it bigger. And as you can see here, it is, you know, whatnot. And obviously we could iterate on it, do another prompt, tell it, hey, make everything pink. Now, the one thing is if you're iterating on it and just say, hey, make all the colors pink, for example, it's just going to generate the updated CSS, right? So if you did want to preview it again, you probably have to generate all the code again, which isn't obviously the best for you know i wouldn't say like this is something that you want to always be using to you know generate code with but i think it's a good feature to have this preview thing it could definitely be better it could be kind of like more i would say like cloud artifacts where this would be like over to the side and then um it would actually like update with maybe the code like for example in cloud artifacts if we generated something like this and then said hey make it pink it would be able to update that and then have the pink shown in cloud artifacts now i don't know if it could necessarily do that in this but either way i think it's great that they have this a lot of tools don't even have this feature other than that guys i just wanted to give you a quick overview of this tool chatbox ai let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below guys we've covered other local ai chat tools on this channel before i think this one definitely has some pretty cool unique features and it has been around for a while so let me know what your thoughts are if you tried it out or if you're planning on trying it out or maybe you have one that you think is even better other than that guys that's pretty much it for this video if you're new to the channel we upload videos all the time on ai marketing sales business growth etc so if you like that type of content you got some value here then make sure to like the video comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads also too guys if you haven't already checked out our free community stridecommunity.com our free facebook group and discord channel i'll leave a link down below and then also too guys definitely check out our new community stride ai academy which is going to be jam-packed with a bunch of different value we're going to upload uh, a lot of different course content as you can see here i'm in the process of making it guys i've actually been super busy this week working on a lot of the stuff that is going to go into this community guys so very excited for that. Make sure to check it out and stay tuned. But I'm also very excited for some of the future videos that I am working on and planning. So definitely stay tuned because I really want to take this content to the next level and give you guys as much value as possible in this community as well as on this channel. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help with your systems, your marketing, your sales, or implementing AI, AI agents like AI call center, AI appointment centers, into your business then book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep
Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.